Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but... Okay, there's a whole that bunch of milk came out the corner of his mouth. Appropriate. On the right side. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep mm. all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. He might have a, another you know, chance when he gets a little bit older to want to like lay down for a nap. He might still lay down with you. So, so don't uh, Evan, no Mason, don't he still like nap with Amber? No. Yeah. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Ooh. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. We're going to finish picking up today. We got the whole Fake. lot more poop outside. Nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony It's not like it was. Not like it was when we just picked it up, but it's, it's complications. poop outside. Complications? A bunch of it. I saw at least six piles. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're well, lucky, yes, so you pick, we you might outside. still okay, be able to get more? you sorted oh, okay. this evening. Okay, got you. So, it, <clears> that's when I'm doing it, so... It, it might not be as much today. I guess if we stay on it, it won't be as bad as it was. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to yeah, teach you as well. Mm. Oh, but you're, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Better be Hufflepuff! And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Another word of chance and get a problem. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. 
As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff Common Room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself, as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. There it is. Well done. Yep. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. This doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? talk about it if you don't mind I'd prefer to just forget about it oh dear it must have been bad I mean of course it was I know I would have been terrified I sorry I was do a full well anyway game. I imagine you have lots to do I hope you have a wonderful first day are you sure everything is all right with your uncle oh yes he travels for work always busy I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. Why won't she just let us use Gillyweed? <sighs> Arthur's got you. You don't it's need right. to be frightened, little cat. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, Come on, you went that way. The in the school. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. <laughs> Your mother's right. Magical beasts are more trouble than they're worth. Ah, I think they can help us as long as we help them. They just take some getting used to. 
You'll have to get used to them. Otherwise, you'll have a time of it in Beasts with Professor Howen. Anyway, I'd better go make sure the first year's caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff scheme that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> nice meeting you, Arthur, and good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Such a beautiful owl. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know whose she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in the ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. I said the people I talked to when I went to Slytherin House, they say loyal to Slytherin. She's talking about going to Ravenclaw and Gryffindor. Because her aunt and her brothers. Yeah, we stay loyal, dog. Look, look, look. She's just trying to keep up with family tradition, literally. Literally. No, but she got chosen for Hufflepuff. She wants and destined to follow her family. Oh, you know, she she couldn't she couldn't handle she couldn't handle the pressure of her family because they had to go to the paper pop, the easy school, the easy house. Yeah, she, she has to go to the easy house. She can't handle with the with the big dogs like her family. Half of the puff. What the noise I'm making? No, I said the more puff for your puff. Morning. I trust you're ready for your first day. Of I've dark. been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to be no, OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Huh? Now, no, but he yes, can't figure out how to get it off. Your ordinary wizarding <laughs> level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After yeah. much uh, discussion with the headmaster uh. and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Oh, nice. Does it work a lot faster now? Here you are. You got it off? Yeah. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. 
You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. What's his name? Oh, this way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your Look magic you, are and in the cellar. educate yourself about in visiting cellar. law. Yeah, I said this when I looked at the. I the certainly letter. would have appreciated something like the field guide when no, I. No, don't pick up the don't pick up the money and stuff now. You left some other chests. You left some other chests at the beginning. Do keep up. Unopened. Huh? Some chest I couldn't open. Yeah, the level Simply cap. cast Revelio on it. The level and restriction. We'll see what the guide says. That's Revelio on the guide, though. Revelio. Yep. Wait, House Elf? Oh, Hufflepuff was an elf name. Oh, we got some elves. Okay, so, okay. Okay. Keep your eyes open for all opportunities like this inside and outside of the castle. Where's the water? Where's the water? You want some crackers too? Want some crackers? Come here, come get some crackers. Come on. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your no field guide contains a map of Back the here? castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Open the map. Fast travel. Fast travel. Yup. you literally play like the Thousand Street. Come on. Except you don't gotta dive off nothing when you get them. Come on! Come here! Come here! Come here. 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 Got a little greedy ass. A little nigger. Wow, dude. What? You're a black dude. You, you, you show dude. Damn. <laughs> that was out of nowhere. I'm talking about my son. Damn, Steve. Shut up. Shut up. You got your milk, you got your crackers. Be happy. Oh, your water and your crackers. Be happy.
And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. And the boys don't make it any easier. Revelio. Professor Weasley's already prepared. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today, and remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Good, sir. 
I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the Field Guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Lost in this castle, I may need to use that charm compass. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. I can't make different characters like that. Well, at least if I want to, I can go back and I can. 